when the pond is constructed, still you have to determine the size of that pond, I mean the volume of the water, so that you determine how much fish to put in the pond. Now after doing that, you stop the fish, and then you have to feed the fish. Likewise, in the, in the cage, we also determine the size of the cage, and then calculate what fish to put in the cage. But we realize that in a cage, the stocking densities are slightly higher compared to those of the ponds. Uh, this gets back to the water quality, the parameters the fish need to survive in the pond and in the, in the, in the lake. You will realize that the lake is the natural habitat for the fish. So when you put it in the when you put the lake, the fish in the in the in the cage and in the lake, you will have put it in its natural habitat, meaning that the dissolved oxygen is there, the temperature is stable, the pollutants are minimal like ammonia. But then you will have limited it from looking for food to eat. Therefore, you provide the food it requires. Now, when you don't screen the pond, you will be allowing access to other fish in the stream, in the source of water, to enter the pond. And that fish will cause competition for oxygen. Will be eating the calculated food you, you calculated to feed your fish. Meaning, therefore, that it is going to affect the performance of that fish in the pond. So that's why we encourage screening the pond, the inlets and the outlets. Mm -hmm.